I don't know how many of you people realize this, but uh, Tri-State Public Communications, on top of operating Robin Hood Radio and the Robin Hood Radio Network, and uh, operating the uh, not-for-profit Bargain Barn in Sharon, Connecticut, operates uh, the local access television stations, uh, CATV6, uh, which can be seen on CATV6 if you have the right tuner. If not, it's up uh, even on all the digital tuners. We have a couple of different channels, also uh, CATV 252. Those studios, which have not been used a lot in the past year and a half because of the uh, pandemic, are located uh, in uh, Gear, uh, at Gear Lodge. Now, we have a lot of exciting news to talk about about Gear, uh, the new building, which will begin construction. Uh, and uh, they're also having an open house, which we'll get to. But we'll introduce ourselves right now to Sherry uh, Schumacher, who is the executive director of Gear Lodge, which is a component of Gear Village. Uh, good morning, uh, Sherry. How are you this morning? Good morning, Marshall. I am well. All right. So let's talk. I mean, it ex- I guess it's always an exciting time to be involved uh, with with. Uh, the people in our tri-state region, but Gear Village uh, is really uh, just at the beginning of some very exciting times uh, with all the plans that are going on there. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you first, though, Sherry, and, and your job, what you do there, and, and how you came to Gear Village. Well, thank you, Marshall. Um, I'm happy to tell everyone that I've been uh, working here on the Gear campus for about seven years. Uh, in management capacities, both at the skilled nursing facility and now, of course, at Gear Lodge, our assisted living facility. And, of course, the skilled nursing facility is going to get totally, totally, totally redone. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I believe on June 16th, uh, Marshall, you will be talking with our CEO, Kevin O'Connell, who will tell you all the details (laughs) about the new uh, groundbreaking of our, our, our new building. You know, it's it's interesting because uh, we, Gear Gear Lodge uh, is just an amazing building. Uh, we we put our uh, TV station in there when it was initially uh, put up, and I, I I hazard to guess how long ago that was. It, of course, at 68 to me, it seems like it was just uh, yesterday. But really, uh, an amazing building uh, with amazing amenities and amazing services uh, at Gear Lodge. Um, it provides a series of different uh, different products uh, for people to use. Uh, let's go over those, uh, Sherry. I mean, I know there's independent, assisted living, memory, special care, um, and but it's it's the way the services are delivered at the lodge. That's correct. That's correct, Marshall. And uh, some of the things that separate us from others here at the lodge uh, really are are the fact that we have the YMCA here right on campus. We provide, you know, transportation within 30 miles for our residents here on campus. They have the luxury of not having to leave campus or mail order their, their medications and their treatment needs. They can get them right here with our gear pharmacy, uh, outpatient therapy, and much, much more is right here on campus. You know, and what, and what I think is interesting as well, people, when they, when, they, when they stay in the lodge, can go with a full package where it includes meals and everything, but now... Uh, because our of communities like like Gear Lodge, uh, local even local um, uh, um, uh, supermarkets uh, provide delivery services. I mean, I'm I'm always amazed uh, when I see the amenities that that were built in, and I mean this has been uh, Gear's been built for quite a while now, and it's still as contemporary and modern now and up to date as it was when it was initially constructed. It is. Um, it is, and we work tirelessly to keep things up to date. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, COVID yeah. uh, slowed us down for some regular upkeeps, painting, and things like that, which is really getting done now. And, and we're excited to have uh, new people come in. You know, COVID is one of those things uh, that we all had to face, and we all had our different uh, crosses to bear with that. But especially, especially, uh, with what you do on on the whole campus, not only Gear Lodge but also uh, the uh, the uh, center, uh, and and w- let's not forget that there's also uh, the low income, uh, not the, the uh, not that low income, but the housing that you have uh, along with the Beckley House uh, located on your campus. I think all those things is what it is what makes uh, the whole Gear campus so special. 
Yes, yes, it is. It's truly a continuum of care for, for anyone, anyone that needs to come, uh, regardless of economic status or their care needs. But you, what you also did, uh, at, by the way, we're speaking with Sherry Schoonmaker, who is the executive director of Gear Lodge. Um, and uh, what you did during the pandemic basically is what we did here at the radio station, what I did personally. I took the pandemic uh, to take time. Uh, I'm right now down 73 pounds since the pandemic started because seeing as I wasn't going to go out to <laughs> restaurants or anything i decided to to take a little care of myself we adjusted our programming here to fit into the pandemic uh, because we can't have anybody uh, uh, come into the studios and you also during uh, the pandemic uh, set up a new occupational therapy program as well we did we did uh the COVID 19 pandemic did slow us down just a bit but it certainly didn't stop us marshall uh the senior care community uh was hit especially hard all over the country uh, with the pandemic, and Gear was very, very fortunate. Um, oh. It really wasn't until October of 2020 that we had our first COVID-19 case uh, here at the lodge with a resident. Um, and since that spell of cases last fall, we have been COVID-free here at the lodge. It's an amazing testament to uh, to the workers, and I'll say this: the, the healthcare workers and uh, and and everybody who's involved. Uh, in in uh, long term care living, uh, the commitment that they had to make uh, to keep it that way is uh, you all deserve just an incredible pat on the back. Now uh, let's talk about something that's coming up very soon. As a matter of fact, only three three or four days away, and that uh, you are having an open house on the twelfth and thirteenth of June, right? We are. We're we're very excited to have opened our doors fully here at the lodge, and uh, it's very nice to see all of the residents in the dining room and their families coming in to visit. And uh, to help celebrate that, we're going to have an open house uh, on the weekend coming. So that's June 12th and 13th. Uh, for anybody who would like to see the lodge, tour the lodge, um, and that's really thinking about uh, the need to move in here to, to our community. Well, I think the great thing about having having a, an open house, and especially after, first of all, after the pandemic, is people are going to want to get out. But also, uh, you can go to an open house and, and not think that you're going to need immediate uh, to move immediately. But it's nice to take a look uh, at an open house at the facilities. And I, I would be willing to bet you, uh, anybody that has not been uh, into the lodge will be absolutely amazed and stunned at the quality uh, of the building, uh, the way the building is laid out, uh, and the staff, the rooms, all the services, and all the amenities. I think that, that unless people see it, they can't plan on it. And by going to an open house, uh, you're really just enriching yourself and getting more knowledge for what might be coming for you in the future or your parents uh, or, or even maybe your grandparents. I mean, it's a great time for people to get uh, a little more information about what you offer. It really is. It really is. And for sure, uh, seeing things in person yourself, getting the tour, meeting the people that are actually going to be here to help you uh, you know, maintain your quality of life. That's important to people. It's tangible, and they, they want to be here to see it for themselves. Now, uh, if you go to the open house on the 12th and 13th, you're going to uh, RSVP and choose a time for your tour so you can get a full look at it. Uh, and if you're going to uh, do this, uh, you're going to have to wear a mask. They'll have masks available for that. Um, if you want to make a, uh, a commitment at RSVP to take a look, take a tour on the 12th or 13th at, at the Lodge at Gear, 860-824-2623. Uh, that's 860-824-2623. Or you can even register on their website, which is gearcares.org, gearcares.org. O R G. Now, Sherry, let's talk a little bit about you and uh, your seven years uh, at at Gear, um, and and your actual commitment. Obviously, how you got into uh, senior living. I mean, how did you make that step seven years ago? Was it something you've been doing before then, or is this something that you always planned on doing? Uh, well, Marshall, I have uh, been a registered nurse for over 20 years. Uh, most of that time was spent in senior management of uh, health care facilities or a hospice. Um, I was away from the, the uh, Litchfield area uh, for years and came back uh, to gear in 2014 to continue my career in long-term care uh, to work with seniors. That's really where my passion is.
All right. Uh, we're, once again, we're speaking with the Sheriff uh, Schoonmaker, uh, uh, who is the executive director of Gear Lodge, which is located in Gear Village. And Gear Village really is a village because it includes uh, the original gear, it includes Beckley House, and it includes the lodge. But, you know, I think when people hear the name lodge, they might not understand the size and everything that is offered there and the fact that you even have on staff uh, in the village, uh, if people need therapy, physical therapy, um, I mean, that's everything really is available that one could need there, is it? Is it not? It really is, and and you mentioned earlier about our occupational uh, therapy program that that we use to uh, help residents during during the pandemic when they were so isolated. Uh, we have Dr. Chrissy Bethanis here who runs our wellness program. She is that occupational therapist who drives these programs. Um, we have speech therapy, occupational therapy, uh, physical therapy, all right here at the Lodge. Uh, in addition to that, many, many of you know that we have our outpatient therapy uh, office and space down at the nursing home as well. So we really have everything that anybody needs right here on campus. Uh, it's it's it it is an amazing site, uh, and like I say, for all transparency, yes, we do have our, our our cable offices and studios there as well. But all all it takes you is to take one look at the facility and know uh, how great it is. Once again, uh, you can uh, find out more information about the open house on the 12th and 13th, the tours at uh, gearcares.org, uh, and you can RSVP by contacting uh, Leonore at 860-824-2623. Now, if people want to just contact uh, uh, by the phone and find out more about the senior community in general, uh, the number I have is, is, I want to make sure it's correct, is 860-824-2600, right? That is correct. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's in the future other than, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the nursing uh, home being... Uh, being totally reconstructed, uh, it, it always seems, even though the pandemic, you we're coming out of the pandemic, there's just so much that uh, that you are offering. Uh, do you have a lot more things in the pipeline and surprises planned in the future? We do, Marshall, we do. Uh, uh, most immediately, we look forward to holding our, our regular events here at the Lodge. The community is uh, certainly missing, and our staff and residents are, are missing those events. Uh, so those are very soon to come here at the Lodge, and uh, we welcome everyone to attend. And, and what people uh, don't realize is that uh, residents uh, at uh, Gear Village and Gear Lodge, uh, the interaction with the community, uh, with the community coming there and with things that are offered there, uh, is so good psychologically for everybody involved. It's, it's, it's a very important factor that's been missing for the past year and a half, and it's going to be great to have it back. Yes, yes, it will. Sherry, thanks for taking a few moments of our time, and uh, we will speak to you uh, later on. Thanks again. Well, thank you, Marshall. Take care. All right, bye now. Uh, that is uh, Gear Lodge uh, at Gear Village.